Hey there, everybody, and welcome to another Halloween episode of Taco Craft. I'm Taco, and today we're going to be building an abandoned church. Um, it's going to be pretty simple. I'll probably fast, or I'll probably cut out um, a lot of the building process, just because I don't want you guys to be bored by it. Um, and I'm going to do some things that are going to be fairly simple um, and some old school techniques I guess you could say. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start the foundation. Uh, let's see here. The opening I want to have, let's make it two wide. And the very front part is going to resemble a bell tower. So it's going to have to come up pretty far. <laughs> okay, so I'm using stairs here, obviously, uh, for roofing techniques. And then on the back here, I want to make the rear come down a little bit and here is our entryway and there's the round sun <laughs> Now, if you don't know how to make stone bricks, basically you take smooth stone, put it in a 4x4 four four square, and there you go. Alright, we got basic structure set up. Now, all we have to do is bring up the walls some. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Guys, uh, we're starting to get there. I wanted to try out doing some like rafters um, at the top of this place. Um, let's see how far do I want to go. So just taking some wood and going across like this. Pretty simple. I think it adds nice touch. Next is the windows. Um, and actually, this one is going to be partially broken window. And then these ones are going to be full windows. But on the outside of those, we're going to do similar to what we did on the outside of the house. We're going to board them up. I'm destroying this back here because I want a tree to be growing partially in this. Just so it looks like, you know, it is destroyed partially. Yeah, that's good. We'll put a couple of these back there. Good. Well, there is something else I wanted to try and see how it looks. Uh, basically, uh, you use 
these stone steps to give it, you know, like a broken appearance. Uh, you can see from the side it looks unfinished, broken stone. And I like that. It looks nice. So I'm going to just do that a little bit over here too. Um, that's good enough. I'll put one down here. Yeah, look at that. Broken. I'm going to go ahead and make the, the pews. Alright, so I moved them forward and just going to stick signs on the ends, as most of you have probably seen done. Alright, now we're starting to get somewhere. And let's go ahead and I'm going to make a picture. Maybe a couple. All right. So I'm just going to put that there. And I'm going to hide it using the picture. It's an old trick. So pistons kind of make this method a little obsolete. Um, but I'm just going to use it for old time's sake. And because, you know, not everything needs to be done with pistons. Um, so up here, I'm going to put a little bit of redstone. It's going to be, you know, maybe we uh, have blood sacrifices or something. You never know. <laughs> uh, in fact, that's my intention, is for this to look bloody, I guess. I'll leave one so it looks more bloody. Um, you know, we'll throw down a couple more pieces of blood here and there. Who knows what foul things are going on here. <laughs> and then, uh, so y'all know, or probably could guess, you place something, oh, I'm using a torch there, it should open this door. Okay guys, um, I figured out the redstone stuff, sort of. I wanted to just be able to come over here and plop down a redstone torch, but it doesn't appear as though that's going to be possible. Uh, so I'm going to have to settle for a little switch hiding back here. And so basically when that switch is off, redstone comes through here. Oh, actually it's on right now. So when it's on, what time of day is it? Oops, time of night. <laughs> okay, um, basically when it's on, the redstone comes, and you can see it, and it's on, and that's on, and it hits the torch, which turns the torch off. So that's when this the door that's going to be here is going to be closed. And then when you flip it again, this torch comes on. And I'll show you. I'll hook everything up after I sleep. But yeah, that was... Redstone wiring is frustrating. And I think I'm going to try and do like a, a mini-series at some point where I figure out how to do all kinds of junk with redstone because I really want to get I want to be good with redstone I want to be able to use it and do cool stuff like this door is nowhere near where I wanted it <laughs> to like no not anywhere near as good as I wanted it to be but I mean it'll do it's just it's kind of obvious um, if you leave the uh, the lever over there. People are going to figure out 
that combined with the picture. Come on now. There we go. Okay, so basically, you know, it's church, so you know, picture of an angel or whatever. That's no perfectly normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, and while that switch is turned into the on position, you can't even do anything. But as soon as I come over here and whoop, oh, you're a door. So then you can jump through the picture and oh, and <laughs> into the wiring that I haven't covered up yet. Um, let's see. Let's do some of this. Okay. And then back here is where things are going to start to get interesting. I'm going to have the church architecture begin to blend into nether architecture. And it's going to be all creepy and stuff. There we go. And we'll put some nether work back. So, in here, not to have creepy stuff, because you know, these, wherever these crazy people are, worshipping nether things, they're, uh, you know, creepy, crazy. So, you know, there you go. Alright, now to add a few more things to make this place look overgrown. First of all, I found out that you can use shears to get tall grass. Um, and it's placeable, but I guess it can only be on dirt. So really, you can just use bone meal. Um, I guess it's... Ooh, it's not right. I guess it's uh, save you bone meal if you can just go grab it off the ground. You just lose a couple durability. Okay, so basically, you just need to take these vines, throw them up all around, and they'll begin to spread. Ooh. And just add to the ruinous. Oh, so I've used all of what I had up. Um, so it's looking all right. Um, I'll show you it in a later video after the vines have grown. Um, but this is my little abandoned church with you know secret passageway to uh, some kind of nether worshipping freak. <laughs> um, Halloweeny, spooky, whatnot. I like it. Sure, why not? I'll do that. Um, so that's all for this. I am going to be adding on a graveyard uh, to this, so that'll probably be the next video, so expect that. Um, yeah, this has been fun-ish. Um, I'm happy with it. I like how it turned out. And don't forget to like this or leave a comment for suggestions of what I should do next. Uh, or, I mean, other than the graveyard. Any other Halloween thing or even normal, uh, suggestions. Um, and I'll, I'll probably get to them. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll do my best to make stuff that you guys like. So, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.